Pete Kelly here. I'm in the shed of knowledge and just got some absolutely incredible archaeology news that I had to share with you. During the second millennium BC, the most important resource that anyone could have access to was bronze. It was used for weapons, it was used for agricultural items, it was used for tools. It was, in many ways, the currency of the day. This was an age before coinage, where if a king or a ruler wanted to get something done, they would often redistribute bronze to their subjects, their liege lords, their vassals, in order to pay them. In return, they would receive military service, tribute, and all of the items that could then be stockpiled and redistributed back to the people. Bronze was really the resource which made the world go around. Not surprisingly, this whole era is known as the Bronze Age. That's how important this resource was. Now, bronze, as many of you already know, is made up of two individual metals. Copper and tin. Copper is relatively abundant. You find it all over the place. Tin, however, is exceptionally rare. Only a handful of places on the planet have this resource, let alone in the Mediterranean. So, for thousands of years, people within the Mediterranean have speculated on where the tin came from. This issue of where the tin came from has, over the last 50 years, been referred to in Bronze Age European and Mediterranean scholarship as the tin problem. But now, we may have answered the problem. Amazingly, a recent study may well have solved where the tin came from, and it wasn't Central Asia. For the most part, European bronze during the second millennium BC in the Mycenaean world, the Mycenaean Greek world, and elsewhere, came from Britain. That's right, Cornish tin has been proven now to have been exported all across the known world from as early as around 2200 BC. Now, how do we know this, you may ask? So, this article is the result of cutting-edge research by Alan Williams of Durham University, as well as a whole multidisciplinary international team from all sorts of different institutions elsewhere. So what they did was they analysed tin ingots recovered from four Mediterranean shipwrecks off the coasts of Israel and southern France. We already knew that tin was an especially important resource exported from Britain in later ages. It was referred to as such by Herodotus and Pythias of Massalia and other writers. It may have even had a role in the Roman conquest of Britain. It may be one of the reasons why the Romans made their way here to these islands to take over the place. But now, these ingots that were found off the coast of Israel have been scientifically analysed using a number of cutting-edge techniques. A novel combination of three independent analyses, trace element, lead and tin isotopes, has shown definitively that the tin from these 2nd millennium BC artefacts originated in Cornwall. This is absolutely huge news. This is the sort of thing that's been speculated on for so long and has never definitively been able to be proven before now. And it just blows my mind. The amount of things that are changing in archaeology and that we're finding absolutes where before we had maybes and hypotheses is just incredible. Such a good time for archaeological discovery. So it's likely that tin did come from Central Asia at, at later points in history and earlier points, certainly ending up in places like Mesopotamia and maybe Egypt. But in the Mediterranean, from the Western Mediterranean to the Eastern Mediterranean, all through what is now France, Germany, Hungary, down the Carpathian Basin, the Balkans into Greece, these areas, amazingly, were trading with Britain. And we can even trace the gradual movement of this tin from around 2200 BC, when Britain was the first place to begin using proper tin bronze. Before that, you can make it from arsenical bronze, which isn't quite as tough, it's not quite as, uh, as long-lasting. But Britain, having an abundance of this tin, seems to have been the first place to make use of this, gradually spreading out over the next hundreds of years to Scandinavia, Central Europe, and finally down into the Mycenaean Greek world by 1600 BC or so. 
and potentially then onwards into the coasts of Israel, Palestine, the Levant, down into Egypt. It's incredible stuff. And these kind of analyses are only improving over time. So we're going to find out much more about this kind of thing in the future. This is just the beginning. So, main takeaway, it's no longer a huge leap of faith to talk about tin trading from Britain in the Bronze Age. It really happened. So a massive thank you to Alan Williams and all the other authors on this study. If you want to read it, I've left a link to it down below. It's fascinating stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, I may bring some more archaeology updates to you in the future. Right here in my shed. See you on the next one.